Psalms chapter 7. Here beginneth the reading of God's holy word. Shigeon of David, which he sang unto the Lord concerning the words of Cush, the Benjamite. O Lord my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me, lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces while there is none to deliver. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay my honor in the dust, Selah. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about for their sakes. Therefore, return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous God trieth the hearts and reigns. My defense is of God, which saveth the upright in heart. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. In he turn not, he will wet his sword. He hath bent his bow and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity and hath conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High the word of the Lord for the people of God. Wow. One more time we hear the psalmist David. Can you hear him? You know, enemies all around, false hordes, so much coming against him, uh, ripping him apart like lions. Wow. Uh, quite devastating, quite picturesque, not in a good way. All of this is going on. Yet the psalmist goes back to God and says, hey, the bottom line is with you. You are righteous. Judge me. Now that's important that before we can look for God to judge others, we have to give our own selves to God. God, judge me. Try the reins of my heart. Try my heart and my reins. Just try me, God, and see if there's any wicked way in me that actually deserves what they're doing. If not God, God, you're going to come through. And one more time, you're going to turn the tables on mine enemies because of your righteousness. And so he ends it with a praise. And I'm encouraging you that no matter what you go through, uh, no matter what devastation, unfairness, what have you, is done unto you, keep your heart clean, keep your hands clean, because God will test your heart and reigns before that of your enemies. God will bring justice. God is righteous. God is true. God will come through for you. Blessings abound.